Hello everyone, my name is Holly and I will be the English trainer for this hour. Um, the topic we are doing today is tying the knot, also known as getting married. So we will be actually talking about marriage and weddings and the vocabulary regarding uh, those topics. We will go through a conversation, a dialogue, um, and look at vocabulary re re related to tying the knot. Let me show you the material worksheet. Um, so first we'll talk about what people think this title means, tying the knot. Then we'll um, go through and match the expressions. Then we'll read a dialogue and talk about um, different expressions in this dialogue. And we'll answer the questions. Then we will read the dialogue again and put some words in it. Um, then we will discuss weddings and uh, different weddings you've been to. If you've, you're married, we'll discuss your own. Um, and then we will go on to a discussion and discuss th this. So that is the plan for today. So. All right, and so my name is Holly, and I, again, I'm the English trainer for this hour. I am from the state of Idaho in the U.S., and um, it, and Idaho is a small state. It's a, it's a large, it's a large in land, but small in population. There's only about three million people. Um, the, the town I live in only has about 850 uh, people, so it's it is quite small. Um, we we do um, uh, in Idaho. We produce potatoes, and we also have a a very very large tourism industry because it is part of the um, yeah the Rocky Mountains, and so we have a lot of uh, different things to do and and see in the state of Idaho. So that is actually that is where I am from. Um, and again, we are going to do a topic called tying the knot, also known as getting married. And so we will talk about weddings tonight, um, and get the vocabulary related to weddings. If you're married, your own wedding, if you're not married, weddings you've been to about the customs in each of your countries and things like that. So, uh, let me show you the, the worksheet again. So we'll start out by talking about what the title, Tying the Knot, means. And then we will match the expressions. Um, before we read, then we will read a small dialogue. And then make sure that we know everything in the dialogue, what it all means. We'll ask and answer questions. Then we will do the dialogue again and put in some key words into the dialogue. And then after that, we will uh, practice speaking. So you guys will talk about different weddings and, that you've been part of, or that you that maybe your own wedding, or weddings that are part of your country, so forth. Hi, Minor. How are you today? Hello, I can hear I can hear some noise, but I can't hear your voice. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Good. How are you? So, Thank so, you. so, have you been taking classes all this time? Uh, yeah. Just uh, I don't receive one class, but uh, all day I I am being here. Uh huh. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Well, cool. So, um, yeah. All right, so the topic we are doing is tying the knot. Um, so we'll get started, and hopefully other people will join us as as the class goes goes through. But what do you think? What do you think tying the knot means? Tie is um, when you put a rope in your neck. Mm, uh, to tie, yeah, to tie. Maybe you tie your shoelaces and your and your shoes, um, 
or anything like that. So tying the knot is an idiom. Okay. And it has a specific meaning. Do you have any idea what it means? Um, according to the picture, I think that uh, when you say tying uh, the knot is when you get married. Um, mm -hmm. Practically, you when you get married, practically you are tied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are tied together. Yeah, so so that's why it's tying the knot. And this specifically is an actual knot that you're tying. So this is is specifically tying the knot. Here's a knot right here. But really tying the knot, if somebody says he's tying the knot, it means he's getting married. So, yeah. So are you married, um, minor? No, I'm single. Okay. Have you been in a wedding? Yeah. I have been in some weddings here. Uh-huh. With friends and stuff like that? Okay. Because we, we can talk about the different customs and see if they're it's the same or, or different in, in the different classes and so forth. So so let's, let's look at some expressions right now. We have get, the bride, have, make, propose, and then have again. And we have the toast, a good time, and groom, a reception, married, a speech. Can you match? Could you match these together? The first one, uh, get married. Get married, yes. And of course, I have not yet added the writing tool. Very, uh, bear with me a moment on that. So the first one is get married. So when was the last time you had a friend get married? Uh, actually, uh, since a month, um, a friend got married, but I didn't, I didn't go because uh, I was, uh, I was sick. Hmm. Okay. So a friend got married, but you didn't go because you were sick. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. So and the next one, the bride. The bride um, and groom. And groom, yes. Bride and groom, okay. All right, and in, in uh, let's go to the next one. Have. Have uh, a uh, good time. Have a good time, okay. When you go to weddings, do you have a good time? Si, si. Hello, Claudio. How are you? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. How are you, Holly? Very good. How are you? So we, oh, were, just starting, we were just starting on the exercise. Hi, Saibon. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Uh, remind me where you are from, Saibon. Uh, I am uh, from Kurdistan region of Pakistan, but currently I'm living in the United States. Okay, yeah, that's right. You're from you're Kurdish, but you're living in the U.S. and you're in in Pennsylvania, right? Yep. Yeah. Is, do you are you guys getting snow right th uh, this weekend? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. We are. <laughs> so, hi, Asma. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very good. And you're still awake. <laughs> you're, you are definitely the night owl. You sleep during the day, obviously. So. Uh, yeah, I used to. Yeah, I. My life has changed. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. And 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 Claudio, what time is it in Brazil right now? Oh, uh, now at nine, nine past ten. At nine past ten. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. It's nice. Yeah, so it's getting late, but it's not that late. So we're yeah, in. Not so late. Yeah, so um, Asma, what time is it in Qatar? Your question? What time is it where you are in Qatar? Yeah, Qatar? it's three. It's three ten a.m. Three ten a.m. So the, yeah. she she's the one that's very late. <laughs> but I think you were in a class yesterday with me. And it was four, so... Yes. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's very... It's not late, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So what time do you go to bed usually? Uh, five o'clock. Five okay. o'clock. Okay. Five o'clock. Okay. Because I was doing, uh, I was teaching a class once a week at four a.m. And um, and it just it recently stopped Be because of that. I was just staying all up all night because I couldn't sleep, <laughs> and I was going to bed about uh, between five and seven, depending on the morning. So, um, mm -hmm. all right. So um, let's go ahead. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack a track a little minor to catch everybody up. What do you think tying the knot means, Claudio? Not means get married. To get married, exactly. All right. Yeah. Okay. And and are you married, Claudio? Yes, I am married. I am in my second married. Oh, awesome! So you've been a, you've had two weddings. Good. Okay, Asma, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Yeah. Okay. And Saibon, are you married? Not yet, teacher. I'm bachelor. Okay. All right, not yet. And uh, welcome, Jose. It's been a Hello, it's been Hello. Here several days. How are you doing? Fine. Thanks for asking. Nice to see you, Holly. Good, good. Did you have a good Christmas? Yes, uh, I yeah. have a good Christmas. Yeah, you're you're up quite late. Yes, uh, one a.m. Uh, in Spain. But, yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah. all right. So, are you married, Jose? Yes, yes, I'm okay. married. Okay. All right, so we have, um, of the six of us, that's including me, we have three bachelors, we have, or two black bachelors and one bachelorette, which would be me, and then we three of you are married, but we've all been to weddings. And so um, what, what this, what, in this class, we will go over some vocabulary, we will read a, a dialogue, and then uh, at the, towards the end, you guys will, will have the opportunity to tell everybody, uh, everybody else about the in the wedding customs in your country and it's very actually qu quite fascinating because each of our countries um, are different uh, enough that uh, to talk about weddings and even within many countries different families have different um, different customs um, so so that's what we will be doing um, all right so um, so let's we um, had just started on matching the expressions. So we have get married, the bride and groom, have a good time, all right? And uh, Ozma, can you uh, match one of these? Make. Uh, make. Uh, make the toast. It's actually the other one. Make. A speech? A speech, yes. You, so you make a speech. Make a speech. Okay, and then propose. Claudio, do you know that one? Propose. Oh, uh, yes. Propose marriage, maybe. Well, that's one way. What? Well, that's one. Uh, you propose to your wife, or she proposes to you. Will you get married? But this is a, in this respect, you actually propose the toast. Propose the toast. Oh, yeah. Yes. What and then, means it? Propose the toast. Toast means in a kind of uh, bread. Thing to, <laughs> no. So that's that's when when someone um, raises their glass and says, "I would like to propose a toast." And then, then you make a small speech. So here's to the bride and groom, so that they have a a wonderful experience. So, so it's usually just a real small speech, and then everybody picks up their glass, whatever they're drinking, whether it's water or alcohol, and and drinks. Teacher, but uh, propose the toast is also an idiom, or is a uh, is uh, a right meaning because I already know that um, toast is a kind of bread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, propose it. Propose the toast is is an expression. So toast has uh, several meanings. I'm not sure it would be considered an idiom. It might be. Um, in the idiom category, I, I've never thought of it that way. Um, 
because uh, a toast could be two things. Either it's a piece of bread that is uh, that is heated, but it also could be um, a toast is is what you a, a small speech before everyone drinks. Mm -hmm. So it's one one or two. Um, all right. So the last one is have a reception. Does everybody know what a reception is? Yeah, it's when, when all the um, all the people that uh, that come to the wedding mm -hmm. uh, eat something. Yeah, so it's basically the party. Yeah. So yeah, depending and the, depending on the time of day, they either have food or they don't have food. Um, with the receptions. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and, and read the conversation and then practice with a partner. So, um, Ozma, could you read Sarah? Yeah. And Saibon, could you read Andy? Sure. So I heard your brother got married last month. That's right. He finally tied the note. How was the wedding? Very good, actually. The bride and uh, groom both uh, looked really happy, and they uh, and they whole day and the whole day went without a hitch. Great! Did they get married in the church? Yeah, they did. And after the ceremony. They had a reception at the whole hotel grand. Did you make speech? No. Thank goodness. I just proposed a toast to the happy couple. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. So I guess the pressure is on you now, isn't, isn't it? A Spanish teacher, yeah? Hello? I'm sorry, I muted and I've been talking and didn't realize, so <laughs> sorry. Um, and so this is, uh, uh, as far as pronunciation, after the service, service, and also looked, looked has a T sound instead of ED looked. Okay. All right. So, um, and the whole day went without a hitch. Does anybody know what that means? Any idea? Yes, the celebration was without problems. Yes. Was okay. Good. Was uh, well. Yeah. So no problems. No problems. No okay. problems. Um, <laughs> if something goes without a hitch, you've run into for example, in a we can actually talk about a verbling class. Uh, you can say, uh, "Yeah, I went to the verbling class and it went well without a hitch." That means you had no technical issues. <laughs> you know, sometimes you'll go into the class and maybe there'll be a technical problem. But if you have no technical problems and uh, there's no background noise or anything like that, then you've gone without a hitch. So, all right. Thank goodness. What does that mean? And Holly, just a question. Uh -huh. um, and if I say that the ceremony go easy, it makes sense, and it's the correct way to say that the the party go went out without a reach. A hitch. Uh, a the hitch. the ceremony went easy. Yes, went easy. Uh, uh, no, we would actually say we we would say the ceremony. Uh, was easy, but not went. Oh, was, was easy. Was okay. easy, yeah. And that would be very similar to say that that it went without a hitch because there were no problems, both of them. It was really easy. The ceremony was so simple and easy. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. All right. Anybody, what, anybody know what thank goodness means? Any idea? Yes, thanks God. 
Yeah, it's it's it is uh, actually I was always taught to say thank goodness, and but some people will actually use the word thank God, but it's basically just oh awesome. <laughs> you know? I'm so glad it worked out. Um, so, all right, the last one. So I guess the pressure is on you. What is she saying here? Uh, so I guess the pressure is on you. Any idea what, what she means by that? Um, Sarah is saying that she knows what the problem was involved in that situation. Mm, no, it, has, it doesn't, not, not really. Uh, but that's a good, good, good try, good guess. Um, English was good. That was the point. Um, any, anybody else want to try? Maybe. Uh, um, uh, he is concerned to prepare the party and uh, to uh, to make a lot of efforts, but now he is not in pressure. Maybe no. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's 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 actually opposite because now it says so. I guess the pressure is on you. So um, obviously Andy is still single. So Sarah is saying to Andy, okay, now that your brother is married, now the family is going to pressure you about getting married. So every time you see mom, she's going to say, have you met anybody or? When will you get married? <laughs> but, uh, why why you say now isn't it? Um, yeah, because maybe maybe Andy will be the type of person that doesn't doesn't feel any pressure. Mm. Yeah. So so Sarah's wondering uh, now that brother the brother's married. Are you? Um, uh, is your family going to pressure you to get married? And in some families they do, and some families they don't. So, and it de you know, and it also depends on how old you are, and and so forth. Um, so, um, I remember going to see my grandmother when I was 21, and she looked at me and she said. You need to get married, you know. So it was, it was the pressure was on to get married. So, and I think that a lot of us uh, hear that. So that's what that is, is family pressure. So it, it, does that happen in your cultures that your 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 parents and grandparents want you to get married? Excuse me. What was the question, teacher? In in your culture, um, do do your parents and grandparents want you to get married? Yeah, absolutely. Do they, in, in my culture, I'm talking about my culture. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's the same. The, the same thing. So one is that the oldest. They they start from the oldest, mm -hmm. and then they they come to the after and after. And to the 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 last uh, the last children or the last kid <laughs> in mm -hmm. the family. So yes, uh, once the the older or the elder get married, is that turn uh, or the, the youngest will be that the turn or, mm -hmm. or the youngest to to get married. Mm -hmm. And so there'll be that pressure. <laughs> that, yeah, the pressure. And when you and when you see your grandparents or your parents and you're the it's your turn. They will say, "Okay, <laughs> when, when, when?" So, yeah. Yeah, uh, the not the the parent, not just uh, grandparent, the, the parent really want. Uh huh. Actually. Okay, the whole family, everyone, huh? The, the whole okay. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, uh, minor. How about in Guatemala? Do uh, parents and grandparents pressure their kids to get married? Sorry, but I don't get the question. Um, do are, do your parents and do your grandparents ask you every time you see them when are you getting married? Um, <laughs> actually no, because um, I am gay and here it's oh, okay. not allowed to get okay. married with other. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's then then that the pressure is off. Then there. How, how about in Spain, um, uh, Jose? Yes, in you... Spain is the same. My my parents and my grandparents uh, had a lot of pressure. Uh huh. Okay, so they they pressured. You know, I, I don't think they mean to, but they just they're like they they want to encourage you to go on. And and Claudio, how about in um, Brazil? Do the parents and grandparents pressure you to get married? Uh, it depends on the parents. Uh, uh -huh. It depends on that those relationships if they're couples. Uh -huh. okay. I have uncles that they ask me, "Oh, please, guy, you have you don't have to." Get married. <laughs> uh -huh. You get alone and single, and I have an, uh, another people in my family that oh, you have to get married because you will be happy. Yeah. But I'm uh, I'm unread and get married, so it uh -huh. doesn't matter. It, I, I'm talking I'm talking about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, uh, Osma. How about in in Tunisia? Does your parents pressure you to get married? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Especially my grandmother. Excuse Not, me. Especially uh, yeah. the mother. Yeah, yeah, my grandmother. Yeah, oh. she, she, she said to me, uh, uh -huh. "You have to to get married, and you have to to have baby." <laughs> Okay, yeah, so after you get married, then they're like, when am I going to be a grandparent? When am I going to be a grandparent? So, yeah, especially to the women. I, I don't know if you guys hear that from their parents, but all right. Well, let's let's uh, look at uh, these questions. Uh, what happened last month, uh, according to this dialogue, um, uh, Minor, what happened last month? What happened the last month about what? Sorry. In this dialogue, um, uh, so I heard what okay. happened. Okay. Yeah, according to the story. Yeah. Okay. Um, her brother or her or sir, sorry, Andy's brother got married. Got yes. married. Exactly. Andy's brother got married. Brother got married. Um. Where did they have the reception, um, Jose? Yes, uh, they had uh, the reception. The reception at at the Hotel Grande. At, yeah, at the Hotel Grande. Is 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 Grande? Is that Spanish, uh, Claudio, or Jose? Uh, if, is it a Spanish uh, the hotel or? Uh, no, grande. This word right here. It's not English. No. Is it? Is it Spanish? Oh, no. uh, it's I, big I, word. Grande. I don't know. Hotel grande means bigger hotel. It means yeah. big. Okay. Be beautiful. Okay. Uh, yeah. In in a yeah, lot of times. Grande. Uh, the, the the meaning in Spain is big big. Big okay, I and a lot of times we'll use uh, words from other languages for names. <laughs> so, does it sound strange, Hotel Grande? Does that sound strange in Spanish? At all? Yeah, the, the, the name is strange in Spanish. Yeah. It would be strange in Spanish. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, Claudio, what did Andy do at the reception? Uh, what did he and do at the reception? Oh, then I was small. Oh, and a toast. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot the, the the. Oh, could I could I read it again? And, yeah. And a small toast. He proposed it. He proposed a toast. He yeah, proposed a, a toast to the happy couple. Oh, okay. After after drink some wine there. Yeah, okay. Now, um, uh, have you guys ever proposed a toast at a wedding? Minor, have you? 
No, in my country, people don't um, custom to do that. Okay, there's no test, no custom. How about in uh, Spain? Is there is that custom there? Yes, I think I think so. In Spain, I think that it's it's a uh, custom. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, have you ever done it? Have you ever proposed a toast in Spain? In Jose? Spain? Um, yeah. Me. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. I have ever proposed it. Those. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And is it and the cast at the at the reception? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And Claudio, how about in um, in in Brazil? Uh, do they have the 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 custom of proposing toasts at weddings? Oh yeah, it's quite common here. Uh huh. Uh, all the time, and in every wedding, you can see a lot of groups, and in each group, there is just at least one people proposing a toast to the bride to the, or to the groom. Uh -huh. Okay, to to everyone. Okay. To the couple as well. <laughs> okay. Especially when they are drunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> they propose the toast a lot. Yeah, so the more they the more they've drank, the more they uh, propose a toast. And um Asma, I assume uh because in your culture they do not, but do they have that um custom in in Tunisia? Uh, no, but I didn't understand very well proposed a toast. Um let me show you on uh, Google Images. It might help a little. Um yeah. it's yeah. it's a it's uh -huh. uh, Bear with me. Um, it's basically, um, it's part of the, uh, it's kind of the drinking culture. I think this is the best one. Somebody mm -hmm. says a small speech and then everybody, uh, everybody brings their drinks up and if they're drinking water or, you know, usually it's alcohol, but it, it depends on what you're drinking. So mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, this is, they're proposing a toast at a pub right here. Mm -hmm. And there are some wishes or uh, or no? Yeah, the, yeah, the propose it, the the toast is uh, is a uh, usually it's a well wish. It's like um, mm -hmm. um, happy like right now uh, um, on next Wednesday, a lot of people will be proposing toasts and basically saying Happy New Year. I hope your I hope this next year is will be the best yet. Uh -huh. And you know, during the the New Year's, a lot of people, you know, if they're if you're part of the drinking culture, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah, gotcha. No, yeah. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think in uh, no, in a, yeah, in a, in Maybe, a yeah, we wish, but uh, but uh -huh. not uh, uh, means uh, like this to mm -hmm. push class by class. No. You know, yeah. You, you wish uh, a good uh, 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 good um, means that you wish to the couple to achieve their dreams or something like this. Okay, so you do do that, but not with drinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's see if we can remember this. Um, these words we've got have, get, propose, glad, go, make, and tie. Let's see if we can remember this. So, um, Jose, could you re read Sarah? Yes. And Minor, can you read Andy? Okay. So, I heard your brother get married last month. That's right. He uh, finally died in note. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, and um, Jose? Yes. How was the wedding? Really good. Actually, the bride and groom, and groom both looked uh, very happy. And the whole day, Got without a hitch. Went without a hitch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, great. Uh, did they get 
did they get married in a church? Yeah, they did. And after the service, they they had a reception in the Porto Grande. Did you make a speech? No, thank God, God nice. I just proposed the toast to the happy couple. Okay, last one. Well, I I'm uh, I'm glad you had a good time. So I guess the pressure is on you. No, isn't it? Perfect. All right. So let's talk about a wedding. So think about it, about a wedding you went to or your own. And then what you, what I want you guys to do is tell us as a group what happened. For example, think about these questions. Who got married? Where was the ceremony? What did you do at the wedding? Was there a reception or party? What did you eat or drink? And did you give or get any presents? And um, so, um, who wants to go first? Any volunteers? Or I can tell you about a wedding I've been to. Um, Should I go first? Yes, you can. I have to answer the first questions. Who got uh -huh. married? Uh huh. Okay, and the last the last wedding that I went was between my best friend and his bride, one of my best friends as well. And they was get married and where was the ceremony? Yes, it, it was very echoed to me, but in a good way to be echoed because it, it, the ceremony was at the house of another friend. Uh -huh. And what did you do at the wedding? Oh, yes, we sing a lot and we dance a lot, like in a party, in a regular party. But our best friends uh, were getting married. And it's very funny because we have done it like uh, where we are teenagers, like. Mm -hmm. so, and was there a reception party? No, there wasn't a reception party. And what did you eat and drink? And we, we, we drank a lot and we drank vodka and we flammed and ice, like typically Caipirin here in Brazil, and beer a lot and some sodas and water. And we didn't eat a lot, just some, some snacks, like, uh, I don't know the name uh, in English, like kiwi. And did you give any present? Yes, I, I gave them in a kind of virtual gift by a site that I have bought in a ticket. Mm. And mm -hmm. it, it was the present, and I and I got in a small gift just to remember the wedding. Was it? Does it? It sounds like it was a small house wedding. Is that what it was? Yes, exactly, a small house wedding. So how exactly. many pe how many people were there? Uh, maybe seven, seven people. Seven. Seventy. 70, okay, 70 people. 71, 72, maybe. 70-ish, uh -huh. uh-huh. Okay, and um, and so you said there wasn't a, a reception or a party, but you did, you were drinking. So, uh, was that after the wedding, the ceremony, that you were drinking? Um, sorry, now I, now I forgot. Some... You said that you were drinking vodka and stuff. After was that after the wedding? Yes, yes. No, mm -hmm. during the wedding. During the wedding, we we was drinking, but we we have to serve ourselves, not a reception. Ah, so, okay. Like 
I, I've understood this phrase like that. Mm -hmm. Was there a reception party, some or someone to to serve us to receive the people, and there Receive. wasn't this kind of thing. But yeah, yes, and uh, there is a big party. Yeah, so there was a, <laughs> a instead party. of a reception, it was just a party afterwards. Uh huh. Okay. To be honest, the, the party was just the only ceremony. That we <laughs> uh huh. So you had it was it was kind of a party with a ceremony at there <laughs> where everybody stopped celebrating and watched them. Uh, okay, how fun! Yeah. How fun! All right, and and is the is the happy couple still married? Yes, they still married nowadays, um, and I I hope that <laughs> they are good. They uh -huh. go, you know, uh -huh. with the, their 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 wedding or with the married, with the married uh -huh. maybe. Yeah, yeah, because you never know these days. You know, some really great marriage weddings, the marriages don't make it. So, okay. We we have a poetry here in Brazil that who usually say that it can be a turn since the our love. Uh, or while there are love, maybe there is love. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. And uh, um, Jose, can you tell us about a, the uh, a wedding either you've been to or that you um, maybe your own wedding, whichever one you want to talk about. Yes, I, I, I was to to. Uh, Married to to uh, get married uh, three or four months ago. Uh, the married was. Uh, so the was, wedding. Uh, yes. The, the wedding. Yes, the wedding. The wedding was of uh, of the I uh, co-worker. Okay. The the ceremony was uh, at the restaurant. Uh, mm -hmm. At the wedding, uh, the first thing that I did uh, was uh, went to the church. Okay. Mm -hmm. After I went to celebrate the the wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so, how many was it? A large wedding or a small wedding? Yeah, one hundred people, medium Not... wedding, more or less. Okay. Medium-sized wedding. Okay. And okay. so. So was it the wedding at the church or was it at the restaurant? First, the the, the wedding was at the church. Mm -hmm. uh, after the the celebration, the celebration was at the restaurant. Okay. After so the after of the church. Mm -hmm. And the, there was a, the reception then, or the, the party. Reception. Okay, the reception mm -hmm. was at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. the, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh, I I ate uh, the first dish uh, seafood, the, the second dish lamb, um, and mm -hmm. the, the the dessert uh, a cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for for drink I mm -hmm. I. <coughs> I drank uh, wine and beer, okay? Yep. Uh, and tell me, tell me, Holly. You drank, you drank uh, wine. What do you mean? W wine and 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 beer. It, beer and wine. So you drank beer and no, wine. No, 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 no. Be beer first and after, after uh, wine. <laughs> Mix, no. <laughs> Beer, beer, and after of the beer, wine. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the present, I gave uh, some money. In in Spain, is is normal to 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 give um, money. Money. Is it is okay. it to is it, when you give the money? Is it to pay for the wedding or do? No, 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 no. Is is I I I I put the the money in a, a bank account. Mm -hmm. Who by who? by tra transference. Mm -hmm. 
Who pays for the wedding? Uh, depend of the people that 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 I that I that that go to the wedding. I, I think that, for example, if uh, I in in my case I we we went two people. I paid uh, two. Two hundred dollars, more or less. Okay, okay, okay. So at, at the so the um, what I'm talking about is as far as the wedding, the ceremony, the party. Does the like in my culture usually it's the mother, it's the uh, the bride's father who pays for the wedding. Uh, in in okay. Spain, who pays for the ceremony and everything? Is it the everyone? Depends the, depend on the family. Depends on the family. Uh -huh. Yes, it depends on everyone. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, yeah. I know with it's my... A, it's not a tradition mm -hmm. uh, okay. how, how in, in your country. Okay, mm -hmm. depends on the, on the family. Okay, and yeah, like with my sister, she when she got married, my dad would was already, would had already passed away, and so, okay. um, she she paid for it. She and her her fiance paid for it themselves, um, because his his father had also already passed away. So, um, okay, and in in Claudio in Brazil, who pays for the wedding, usually? Um, here in the United States, the common is the father of the bride, the bride's the bride okay. father. The bride's father. Usually, pay, usually okay. pay for the wedding. Okay. But it depends on the family as well. And mm -hmm. on the other day, I had a discuss about that with a friend, and he convinced me that the family of the groom can pay it as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it really depends on the, the whole thing. All right, and Ozma, how about in, in Tunisia? What is the, the custom um, in your country as far as weddings go? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, for example, for me, I got married uh, two years ago and uh, I celebrate um, uh, means uh, uh, I make a party mm -hmm. and I invite uh, people uh, I invite uh, nearly uh, 100 uh, person mm -hmm. uh, and it's with um, music uh, dancing uh, eating uh, mm, yeah <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like this, yeah. And uh, some of people uh, give me some gifts. Uh, mm, yes, but to who pay the uh, all this distance is um, uh, the husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the the husband pays for the 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 party, and is it at uh, is it at uh, your home, or is uh, it is it at a, a wedding hall or? No, it's not home. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's what I what can I say? It means uh, um, it's some area that's only dedicated for parties. Okay. For, uh, so it could be either either it could be uh, we we would call it maybe a wedding hall, or yeah, maybe even an events center. Yes. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So so that you would have that party, and is the ceremony private, or is it is the party just the ceremony? Was there a uh, ceremony at all? It's a ceremony. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, it's part of the the party is part of the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. And I was I was part of a wedding three years ago, and I was one of the bridesmaids. Do you guys know that that term? In like the man the man guest the man guest from the bride 
like? Um, well, so in Brazil, uh, we have a specific name to describe the situation that people who will in front of the audience mm -hmm, together yep. with the bride like that, that will will bless the wedding like yes. that. Yes. Exactly, and usually there's there's three or four. There's a main person, and she's called either a maid, a maid of honor, maid of honor, or if she is married already, uh, she is a matron of honor. If if her friend is already married, and and then the then you have the bridesmaids, and then with the groomsmen you have the 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 main person as well, and he's called a best man. If you guys have heard that uh, term before, um, so usually there's three or four that go up, and then usually they have the same. Um, the, you uh, back when I was small, the all the ladies and all the all the men would be wearing tuxedos, and the women would be wearing the same dress. Um, dresses, but now the trend is for all the women to choose a dress um, themselves, but they use the same material, so it's the same color and it looks very similar. And um, yeah, and I, I was uh, one of my good friends. Uh, she was actually, how old was she? She must have been, she must have been 45, and she had never been married. And she, I remember she waited and waited and was very frustrated. When am I going to meet him? When am I going to meet him? So when she finally met him, um, uh, it, that was a very, uh, very neat time for her. And um, and it, it, what she did is they had, they had the wedding in the afternoon at a church, and then they had the reception at a train station at a local train station and um, and then and they had speeches and people proposed a toast but there was no alcohol <laughs> so so people they still did the toast but we um, and people drank water or juice and um, then then they did dance. They there was dancing at the end and and so forth. But it was a it was a party, but with no alcohol. It, but with everything, all the same elements, but just no alcohol. And um and that's when was that? That must have been about two and a half years ago, three years ago, probably. And um it was an interesting experience. Um. So in in Finland, um, I what I never I lived there for eleven years. I never went to a wedding, and um, what I was told was um, most people have small family weddings, and they usually o only invite their their uh, close family, and they don't uh, invite um, friends. So. I never went to a wedding there, but in Korea, I went to several, <laughs> and, and I only lived there for 21 months, and I went to several weddings there, and it was uh, very different from my own cu culture. I do apologize if you hear my dog barking, so he's trying to get in the office. So, um, All right, let's look at some discussion questions. Um, so, are weddings in your country different to the one in this worksheet? Uh, Ozma, I think your weddings are, um, and I think all of them are, aren't they? And, uh, Jose, would you say that they are different? No, I, I think that that, that are, uh, are the, the same the same weddings of mm -hmm. the of the right right. Okay, it's a very similar. So uh -huh. Okay, and how about in, in Brazil? Is it different or the same? Um, Claudio? Oh, yeah, I think that here in Brazil we have the regular wedding. Mm -hmm. Like Catholic, we, we are usually Catholic, and, and even who aren't Catholic usually celebrate the wedding like Catholic is because they are more concerned about the party and mm -hmm. the ritual. Mm -hmm. the most okay. 
the ceremonies. And Ozma, how about in your culture? Are they the same? Yeah, it's dependent, you know, it's dependent for the person. Someone who uh -huh. likes to make the religion weddings, uh -huh. some others, the civil wedding. Uh, so it's dependent. Uh -huh. uh, and also, it's dependent when you decide to make uh, a ceremony, uh, it's dependent for your budget and for your. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, or what do you want in your wedding, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I know that when my when my my sister and brother in law got married, they wanted to have a really small wedding, and what they wanted to do was show up at church in the evening, and <laughs> and give their vows in front of everyone, and then call it good. <laughs> and it turned out that they they had a, a traditional a wedding where they showed up at church and. And so forth, but it was planned ahead of time. And they had about 300 people at the wedding, and about 300 more people at the reception. <laughs> and they yeah. did not plan for that. <laughs> they yeah. um, they wanted a very small wedding, and it didn't happen. So because their mothers got involved, was well, my mother got involved really? So, mm. but uh, you um, means uh, you take the. Um, the decision to invite people or people come without any invitation? Um, well, the wedding that they did, uh, they gave, they sent invitations, um, but they are, uh, they did a, a non-traditional American wedding. It was a, a very, very different um, because um, what they did is they went to the Sunday morning service at church and at the mm -hmm. end of the service, Somebody stood up and said, "We have two people at in the service that would like to get married." Oh, okay. And then they they went forward and they gave their vows in front of the everyone. And so there were people that were invited and people who were not invited because mm -hmm. it was just a regular church service on Sunday morning. And um, so that and and then after that they had a time of. Um, of well wishes, and this is a, a very typical of the the church that we we go to, um, where people could stand up and give um, uh, give encouragement to the couple. So they spent about there was about 15 or 20 minutes of people standing up and and giving the giving my sister and her husband advice mm -hmm. and. That, but she she wore a white dress, but she did not wear a wedding dress. He wore a suit, but not a tuxedo. And they did not have any bridesmaids or groomsmen, nothing like that. It was a very non-traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. So, so all right, um, all right. Um, so, Claudio, do you enjoy going to weddings? Oh wait, you know, uh, you guys were out of time. <laughs> I just looked at the uh, time. I have another class. <laughs> oh, frankly, I don't like a lot to <laughs> go to the wedding. I, I like, I like because generally it's in a good moment to party and to find some colleagues and some friends. But the most of the time, I think that the ceremony can be too boring and. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like a lot, but mm -hmm. I, it depends on the kind of wedding I, mm -hmm. I'm going. So if I'm going to a wedding of a good friend who I really know and who I really know her bride or of when I your friend a girl mm -hmm. and a female friend who I know her groom, I probably mm -hmm. would enjoy a lot and I would get a good moment and I would give my attention for them. But if mm -hmm. I, it's a regular wedding from an, uh, work and uh, just an, uh, I, I don't know the word to describe that people that I am not so close that I just know just that I just met sometimes. That's a, a, an acquaintance. 
Acquaintance, yeah. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. Yeah, all right. I think uh, that is too boring. Yeah, excellent. All right, well, I need to start the next class, so you guys are welcome to jump into that class if you have a, if you're, you, if you'd like to continue. Um, thank you very much for your participation. Okay. And bye bye. It was okay. very interesting. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, thank you Holly. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank